Making stars is generally a good idea, but it's not without problem. This is a Betty Boop cartoon from 1935. It's directed by Dave Fleischer and Edward Nolan, and Mae Questel voices Betty Boop. And Betty Boop is putting on a stage show where all of the acts are babies. And that's a pretty interesting concept. And we have babies playing music and basically utilizing everyday baby things to create I guess entertainment. I don't know if that's necessarily the right word to use, but certainly it works really well. And I don't want to give away too much by telling you exactly what the babies do. But for example, they interact with their cribs to make music. One of them is almost like a a gymnast or a trapeze artist with the way she utilizes one of those those bouncy things you put in a doorway hopefully you know what I mean and quite a few other things there's a lot of variety to it and it's a really interesting concept and generally it works very well the issue with it and I believe this was a banned cartoon if I'm not mistaken but of course you can watch it is that we have black babies and also a, a black character in the audience with another baby and they are almost caricatures and they have racial stereotypes and with this one I don't think there was malicious intent I always kind of categorize these potentially racist cartoons from the 30s and 40s as those where they're clearly making fun of certain people usually black characters not always but mostly let's be honest and then there were those where I don't think there was any malicious intent but that doesn't excuse the racial stereotyping and this is absolutely the case here I don't think at any point anybody involved in this thought let's make fun of black people by including black babies with really exaggerated features however that doesn't make it okay it also is a little bit awkward to watch but at the same time this is not excusing it but if it was just white baby after white baby there would be the question of well why aren't there any black babies and I feel like if they just not lent into racial stereotyping and not giving them these really exaggerated features, then it might have been okay because then they would have just had black characters in a cartoon because the things the babies are actually doing, I think, are not stereotypes, at least to my knowledge. If they are, then I apologise. They're not things that I'm aware of. But the actual inclusion of those children, absolutely fine. It's just the way they're animated and that makes it a little bit awkward. So it's a fun concept. I guess a little bit awkward as well as we're seeing these babies performing and most of them are not actually wanting to be there. Quite a lot of the babies clearly don't realise what's going on and that's a little unsettling. But it is a cartoon. They're not real babies, thankfully. But it is a fun idea and generally well executed. The babies could have maybe been a little bit happier about being there. That might have meant it would have been a little bit easier to watch. But when you have some racial stereotyping, that's not ideal. And as I said, I don't think it was done to be nasty, but it doesn't make it okay. And I say this because there are quite a few cartoons from around this time where they clearly include black characters to make fun of them with the sole purpose of getting jokes out of these characters. And that's not what I feel is going on here. But either way, it's it's not the easiest. But nevertheless, it is worth watching. It's an interesting concept, generally well executed, not without problem, but I'd say it's still worth watching. Betty Boop is actually not in it a tremendous amount. She is in it, I'd say, about half of it. But compared to the average Betty Boop cartoon, where she's in pretty much every frame, and it's very rare that we cut away from her for more than a second, it, it's a bit different. But it works with that in mind. It doesn't feel like she's not utilised enough. She actually works very well as the host of this performance. And I feel like we get to see enough of her. So that's not a complaint. Just an observation. Making Stars is definitely worth watching. It is not perfect. We have racial stereotypes and babies who clearly don't want to be performing. But it's an interesting concept. And I guess the interesting part is wondering what the babies are going to be utilising to put on a show. And that's the bit that I found fascinating. So it is worth watching if you're a Betty Boop fan. But just bear in mind that it's not going to be the most comfortable experience.